for a while now, I've been using what is the, um, the Combi Multi-Rig. And the main reason for that is it has the ability to quick change the hook. If you um, sharpen your hooks like I do and you're as fussy as I am, then um, the hook needs changing all of the time. And most of the time that would mean you need to change the whole rig. But with this, you don't. At Bluebell, I fished this same rig, but on a lead slip presentation because I was dropping it from a bait boat onto ultra clean ground. On here, I don't know exactly how clear it is. And I've decided to fish it on the helicopter rig just so that any sort of minimal debris it can lay on top of and kick out. But taking it back though, to the other end of the rig first. First of all, I've got a size 11 ring swivel that helps to prevent tangles. I've then got a four centimeter piece of the medium shrink tube, that's the 1.6 mil. And you might be wondering why I haven't got an anti-tangle sleeve there because effectively it's doing the same thing. But because it's a permanent fixture on this rig, I just think that that's a, a little bit neater and I just really like it. The boom section is 25 pound boom and that is roughly six inches long. And you'll see that the combi knot is just covered over with a 0.7 mil piece of silicon. That just keeps it neat and tidy. The braid that I've used for the combi rig here is the inner braid from um, 25 pound dark matter. And the reason I picked that is first of all, it's quite coarse and that means it requires less turns on the Albright knot to keep it um, nice and neat. I've used four turns there and it's also a little bit stiffer. That's the second reason and that helps to prevent tangles, you know. The length is the important bit. That needs to be between three and a half and four centimetres. Originally, when I first started trying to tie this rig, I wanted it to be shorter, but I found that I had the occasional hook pull. And that is what, the reason I think, think that that was is because the fish, if the fish came from the swivel end of the rig, there wasn't enough braid for it to reach into the fish's mouth to get a good purchase. So from trial and error, I've come up with this length, three and a half to four centimetres seems to be absolutely perfect. You'll notice from there, I've got a piece of, again, medium shrink tube. It's the 1.6 mil and uh, I've a line aligned that. It's a 12 mil piece. And again, I've, I've played around with different lengths and I've just found that this length is ideal and the hook to land ratio is absolutely exceptional. I'm using a size six Wygate X and um, I have used this with, with, with a four. But again, like I've, I've played around with the, the length of the, um, the braided section. I've played around with the length of the shrink tube and I've played around with the size of the hook. And I find that this combination, the hook to land ratio is absolutely obscene. You know, at, at Welly I've used this rig almost exclusively through 2020. And yeah, my hook to land ratio has been absolutely perfect. You know, couldn't ask for anything more. Here at the Wazing State, I haven't lost any fish so far, touch wood. Um, five takes, five fish on the bank. The one thing that I will point out is I'm using a, a double balanced tiger nut here because tiger nuts are permitted. And I've been using them at Wellington Country Park as well. And I've been using the same hook bait for, for three nights fishing. I don't need to change it. I don't, the baits are really hard. They don't soften over time. And you can just slide that loop over the point of the hook, take the hook, take the shrink tube off, put a fresh piece of shrink tube on, a fresh hook, slide the same hook bait on the same ring swivel back onto that loop of braid before passing the loop of braid over the point of the hook and you're ready to go again, you know. It's super quick, super efficient and it's working for me everywhere I go.